Well, hey there, friends. Hi. I'll be there for you. Thank you. I miss my friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so do I. Okay, so this is episode three, Listen to Your Heart. And much like The Bachelor Presents, we are going to enjoy this beautiful champagne glass as the packaging, the Bachelor Presents portion of events. And then for the real inside, the actual show, we're a little brusky. <laughs> because, you know, the show's good. It's just not like wine, rosé, champagne. It's not bad. Beer's good. Beer's pretty good. It's a good choice. It tastes like the show. It does. A Mediocre. little diluted. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty evenly split in my heart about two women. He asked her, can you talk today sooner rather than later? And then began the conversation. <laughs> as soon as now. Let's do this. Hey there, Benjamin Button. You're back and looking younger than ever. Someone suggested maybe it's because he's a little thinner. I think that might be right. The love comes first. The music comes later. Not for these people, Chris. This is the person across from you sincerely here for the right reasons. It's going to be a no, Chris. <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> What's my name again? I only want to see couples that are serious. This is like paradise when, when it's at the end and they're like, either you're serious or you leave. But this is episode three. Mm. Thank you, Chris Harrison, for weeding out some of the non-essential baggage here. It's not essential, it's very trendy right it now. Is very, <laughs> it is very hot right now. They look at each other and they just see exposure. It sounds like what you're saying to me is you feel like you need to go. Yeah. So Gabe and Ruby are leaving now. You said to me, well, I know you're going to get a rose, so I know we'll be able to figure this out. She's just freaking out. I got to go home. I'm leaving. I'm going to cry, but I'm not going to talk to the source. That would be way too easy. Right. Hello. <sighs> Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> I didn't know that you told her after giving me a rose. I'm glad that you're here and we still have time to figure it out. She came to me and expressed some, some feelings that I did not know existed, so I did feel blindsided. So I'm asking for your forgiveness in that, and I'd like to move forward with you. Convincing. Yeah, everything that you just said happened. I just didn't tell you about it, and I'm sorry. And let's, right. Yeah, and if you want to do this thing, let's do it. Although he literally just talked to Julia. I know. You want to do this or you want to go home and, and cry? <gasps> Ew! Uh, <laughs> that sounds like me. God, it does. <laughs> you want to do this or you going to go be a little crybaby? <laughs> When's the conversation going to be like, so are you, are your feelings resolved for Julia? Is that over? Have you put it to bed? Hey everybody! Come in and join me! Jeez, Chris! <laughs> Live audience and a panel of celebrity judges. Also judging some of our former bachelor couples. <laughs> Who that excites them. That's what's so creepy about this whole nation. The final couple is going to be given an amazing opportunity to start their lives as performing artists. The two of you will go on tour. Coronavirus. No pressure, guys. <laughs> Has anyone ever laughed that hard at Brandon's jokes ever in his life besides his mommy? <laughs> it's not just about the music, it's about our connection. Share Bear, run. It seems a lot of people are, including myself. And now they're sitting on each other's laps. It's a very um, Jessica Amber situation going on here. I'm gonna bring it back to. Oh, yes. Yeah. Love is blind. Where she just couldn't let it go. Jessica could not let it go that he changed his mind. I don't want to watch them kiss. I just Wait. learned their names. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his kiss face, first of all. Like, I've never kissed a girl before. <laughs> he was wanting to figure things out with me 24 hours ago. All right, Jessica, calm down. Get some more wine, Jessica. What? Oh, Share Bear is just journaling as usual. I want to be, like, completely candid with you. I... Wanted to leave? Yeah. Oh, a little music note on her finger. I like music. Dude, I'm trying to listen to their conversation. That came off as disingenuous. Who are you to sit here and say that I'm being disingenuous? I knew I liked her for a reason. I don't have any feelings for Brandon, so it's not, this is not coming from a place where I'm like, oh, I wish I was with Brandon. <laughs> Did you just, now you lost all credibility when you just said that lie. 
Chris Lane, and his wife Lauren, Bachelor Nation royalty. I thought you were Shawn Mendes standing down here. <laughs> God, it's true. <laughs> Everyone's like, who the heck are these people? <laughs> She's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's mine, it's mine, give me it back. <laughs> He's like, no, bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> You could not wake my kids, that'd be best. He's like, okay, here. <laughs> but, but nope. You can have it for a second. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Why is every man the one who knows how to play guitar and every woman's just a singer? I don't mean just a singer, I don't mean to put that down. But you know what I mean? Yeah, the guys are the ones who are musically like geniuses. And the ladies are just like, la la la. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, why are we hiding a little man in a barn? <laughs> okay, Rudy's voice is great. So good. Yeah. Meanwhile, they haven't spoken a single sentence to each other. Even behind the scenes, they're just like, Would you like some coffee with that milk? That's a backwards. <laughs> Didn't Ryan have to raise the octave for her too? On yeah. their date? How do you remember that? You're so not into the show and you're like, Didn't Ryan have to raise the octave for her as well? <laughs> so the tiny details, what I notice. I wouldn't want to be the reason that we go home. So that's an audio guy. You see his, he's wearing those headphones and then the big sack he has to carry has all of his little, where he tunes the different microphones. I wish I didn't get so nervous. Jamie, grow up. That's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. She's having a little tantrum. This is what grown-ups have to do. They have to perform under pressure. Wow, they really packed this place. Wait, they're singing the song they've been practicing tonight? At the house, yeah. Welcome to the first musical competition of listen to your heart. What? I thought this was Bachelor. <laughs> Stop hitting him. She's a big hitter. We I don't, talked about this. I don't enjoy. Okay, Jojo. Jason Mraz, Kesha. The judges have the final say. So they do get judged to, to leave or stay. I think it's their overall performance and connection. First up is Rudy and Matt, and she is doing great. Mm -hmm. And he's adding a nice little flair. I hit you the other day, I'm so sorry, then I kissed you, was that confusing? No, I really liked it, think you'd do it again. <laughs> Jojo's like, oh, I like that part. <laughs> they sound great together. They do. Rudy, I thought you were amazing. Matt, you did such a great job of just holding it down. Exactly. Next up is Bree and Chris, mm -hmm. singing Leon Bridges. Mm -hmm. He sounds better than I thought he would. Me too. I'm judging their intimacy all of a sudden. They don't seem to be connecting as much as they do in real life. But there's also a limit between I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much. Agreed. How does she wipe her butt with those chains on her nails? <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross, but you're right. Does she have enough toilet paper in these times? <sighs> I don't. Hold on to that one, because <laughs> yeah. the way he looks at you, you can't fake that, you can't make that up. Do you think that they got a little heads up, like this couple is for real? So Probably. To make our story work, please be over enthusiastic about them. They were great, but like they weren't right. Next is Danny and Becca. I feel personally very, very, very confident. And that's the kiss of death, so I guess they're going home. Mm -hmm. My thoughts too. Hmm. And JoJo's head nod said everything. But look how hard Danny's trying. So hard. Oh, oh. oh no. There's a strong friendship between you two right now. <laughs> you got us. <laughs> Nailed it. Savannah and Brendan. It feels like they're having trouble articulating their chemistry on stage. Savannah's fake as hell. Oh, such a hater, Julia. Mm. I felt more chemistry after, honestly. Oh, oh sorry. There is no way she is going to do that. Mm. Really? Did she really do that in this moment? I gotta know. Producers, send me an email. <laughs> Perhaps it wasn't as genuine or deep a connection. Ding, ding, ding. Well, I can't wait for your stupid performance. God. Why has she turned so evil? No. When it started, I thought she was just a sweetheart with her career, what she does for a living, and now she's like. <laughs> okay, next is Sheridan and. Julia Gulia. Oh, the wind is just taking his hair away and this seems so intimate and real. It seems like they love each other just because that wind is like... It's true. <laughs> <laughs> She's really just performing for Brandon right now. Yeah. Don't you think? 100%. I think they're going to trick the judges. I think they have. Look at the judges. <laughs> 
I feel like Sheridan, I feel like you have like love in your eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sheer Bear. I imagine this is super painful for Savannah. <laughs> mean girl. Unexpected mean girl. Mm -hmm. Natasha and Ryan. Slapping the ivory. I don't think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's Tickling. Oh, yeah. Look at you back, back, back. Whoa, Jason's like boner. <laughs> So why is her hair, does she try to match old Eddie Sizzy hands? Probably. It does look nice, them having the same coloring. I don't know, but Jordan really likes it. Look at him. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. <laughs> oh, God. He just sniffed her cheek implant. Well, he went to get... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding. I don't think she has those. Let me try again. <laughs> okay, they're overdoing it. Overdoing it. Nobody believes you. Wait a second, the whole audience believes it. I know. Natasha, you have a tremendous power in your voice. Yeah. I've been told. Thank you. Ryan, Natasha could take off. Her career could explode. <gasps> Damn. Ma. Why would you even say that? Gosh. You're lucky to be in her presence. Here comes Trevor and Jamie. See, when she's deep, it's so much better. Mm -hmm. She's singing too high in my professional opinion. You're emotional now. What's, what's going through your heart and your head right now? Well, I'm 21, so this was weird for me. I've had a really hard time um, learning to love myself. What, what, what? what is happening? <laughs> Therapy session. <laughs> Nothing about that felt forced, and it, it was so just the two of you. Did we not see the same thing, Mason? Uh, Actual hell just happened. This bitch is crazy. This is gonna be very different from any rose ceremony we've ever had. Who's handing them out? Chris? Chris is calling them up and then they're offering it to each other. And I don't like it. Can we just save time and go, you guys are leaving. Yeah. It's weird the way they're doing it. It's, it's odd. But I guess they want to keep with the bachelor theme so they don't want to just eliminate a couple. They want to do the whole rose thing. Hmm. Not so sure it translates on this musical adventure we're on here. Mm -mm. Would you please accept this rose? I most definitely will. I most definitely will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little shake of the head, no. I definitely will not. Are they like knocking boots, do you think? Is there a boom boom room on the premises? Mm -hmm. Ooh. No way, the couple whose names we didn't know is going home. <laughs> Bye, never see you again. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> Coming up next week. I think I still have feelings for her. I think Brandon just wants to go with who has the best voice. I think you're now right. he knows it's about performance. That was the least surprising send-off we've ever seen. Yes. Six couples left. We've mm -hmm. got three episodes left. Julia is really disappointing me. Yeah, she's become a villain for sure. Mm -hmm. Savannah has risen above. The Trevor drama seems to be completely over. Cher Bear. Oh, Cher Bear. He's just gonna get his little heart broken, his little, little Cher Bear heart. Dead meat. Mm-hmm. Bear carcass everywhere. What would you give this episode? Oof. I would give this episode a 5.2. Wow, that's very specific. Okay. Mm-hmm. So higher than last week. Higher than last week, yep. Because now, again, we're getting to know the people a little bit more. Um, some of the music was fun. I enjoyed some of the performances this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this episode. Well, I'm gonna go with the five. Okay, oh. I gave a six last you week. Did. I don't know, something about this one just seemed longer to me and just like, can we just get to it? I don't know, but yeah, you're right. I enjoyed some of the performances, mm -hmm. some of the drama, but I don't like the Julia stuff going on. I don't like the no. deception of Cher Bear. I know and all that. And Brandon now is confusing. Do you really like Savannah or not, man? No. But see, it has us it has us engaged. So, another one in the books. We'll see you guys next, next Tuesday. Tuesday.